Okay, hear me out. I promise this was good. I promise it's a good investment. Guys, I'm so excited. Pyro drone is legit, and I just got the Pavo Pico frame. It's DJI O3 compatible, so you guessed it. I got the O3 air unit. I'm gonna open these up. I'm gonna start assembling it. I'm so excited. I have the V2 headset as well as the RC2 controller, so I'm super used to flying the FPV and the Avada. I wanted something a bit smaller, and so. We got the Pico. With the Pico, I got three sets of these batteries. So there's two each inside of here. With these batteries, you'll need a charger. And I got this one. It's got two output ports, so we can charge two batteries at once. Got a bunch of features. I don't know how these work, so I'm gonna ask my friend and I'll, I'll figure it out. Now I can only charge two at once, right? But I got six batteries, as well as the small 2S battery that this came with. So from AliExpress, okay, listen, I know it's from AliExpress, but my friend told me he's used this forever and it's good. I got this, I think it's a parallel charger so it should charge them at the same time voltage across all of them will be the same and current will split charging all of them like four sets of extra props you told me to I'm not a noob but i've never flown like a diy one before even though it's technically not diy because it's kind of like already put together and i just gotta plug everything in but still diy for me and because my connectors are smaller i got these adapters as well and that's pretty much it so i'm gonna go ahead and build the drone all right guys, so I've pretty much opened everything. Let's start off with the drone unit itself. This is pretty cool. So looking at it, just my first impressions, the ducks are a soft plastic. So they're pretty bendable still. Um, I do like the props and the motors. They're just three screws right here. And it seems like the wires are kind of just clipped on underneath here and then they go with these connectors to i think this is the flight controller and basically if you ever damage one of these you can just unclip it and then put it back in so there's no soldering needed which for someone that doesn't really have time to do all that work with the drone this is super appreciated and yeah that's pretty much it for the motors you have these four bolts holding it down and then we have these four bolt holes i believe that these are probably for the air unit i have the dji 03 air unit that will get to in a second you have the place where you slot the battery in down here the frame is carbon fiber and you have the terminals so the battery you get your positive and negative and then you have this one not sure what this one is for is it to go to the o3 unit i don't know but i'll find out we have this bag with some accessories some screws standoffs two antennas a tpu for i think the camera and then i believe some more mounting it's possibly for the antennas for the o3 unit which is the one i bought it comes with a cover to go over the lens so you don't scratch the lens i actually have this problem with my dji avada the lens is all scrapped and dinged and does not look good we also got this i'm not sure what this is but we have extra props and we have an extra cable we have this 450 milliamp hour battery it's a 2s pretty small battery i have more i have better ones i'm excited to test these out so stay subscribed to see these and we have frames for the o3 unit as well now let's talk about the dji o3 air unit i love this thing it's super small and it's super lightweight taking a look at it using it with the pavo pico drone you can see boom there is your lens looking right at you it's got four screws and i'm assuming that's so you can position it you can mount it properly into place pretty hard plastic around the camera which is nice of course you have that lens covering initially the cable going from the air unit to the actual camera it's braided of course you got the dji logo right here pretty nice it's got rubber at the end so it goes from braided to a rubble rubber insulation it's rubber insulation and then you have screws holding the top down so these two screws i believe go from the top plate into the frame these two screws do the same thing but the ones on the other side the ones on this side right here screw the antenna down so if you do want to replace the antenna with the antennas like the pavo pico comes with you basically be unscrewing that replacing the this whole thing with those antennas not sure which preferred not sure which one i'm going to do but i'll find that out when i build it and then these wires I believe these are going to go just to the drone it just makes sense but this is the o3 air unit and you just got some warning labeling on here and take that off before installing it because plastic is an insulator and it reveals another dji logo so super excited to see what this is going to give me stay tuned guys and stay subscribed all right so let's go ahead and build the drone All right, so I'm going to replace the stock antennas because from what I've read, replacing the stock DJI antenna with the ones that come with the Pavo Pico will reduce weight. All right, so with both of those removed, we can remove this plating and remove the antenna. From there, I'm gonna get the antenna out of the bag here. 
They look like little bat ears. Antenna one, antenna two. All right, be firm, but gentle with those little guys. Now we just put the cover back on, awesome. Okay, but the antennas slot and come out through the middle together. Cool, cool. And I'll just have them cross like that. Sweet, here we go. First little modification. Okay, so now we are going to install this to the little housing. Do it ever so carefully, putting the antennas through the holes. And we're gonna have to somehow pull this over. So good thing it's like plastic and we can just kind of get it to form like this. That looks pretty good to me. Saddled in there pretty well. Okay, so now we're just gonna basically bundle the wire up in here. Though, if I'm looking at this, there's a plastic ledge with the frame and then there's this rubber piece. I wonder if I should put the rubber piece above or under it. Looks like it's coming out from under it, so I'm just gonna leave it going under and then basically just kind of put it all up in here. Dang, does it really need to be this long? I guess for bigger quads, right? Undo these bottom ones and we're going to use that as the screws that mount it to the frame because yeah, they stop right here. They don't screw in anymore. So we have plenty of room to put this into the frame. Got to bundle this wire up, push it in together there, be able to put that in. All right guys, so this is the drone pretty much done and I made a little boo-boo. So if we look on this side, you see how the screw is flush? That's because I'm using the screw that comes with the Pavo Pico. That's the one that you're gonna want to use. Do not use the ones that originally came with the DJI 03 unit because you see how it sticks out like that? You'll get that. And it's not going to lock the camera into place. And it's gonna be constantly moving up and down when you don't want it to. So remember, flush, not out. Big difference. Got it. Cool. Now they say to use the TPU mount that it comes with, which is this one. And I get it's going to add more weight, but as a beginner, I feel like it's more important that I protect the camera. Dang, really should have done this first. Okay. But you just kind of wiggle it on there and you're fine. All right. Now the camera has a little bit of protection. All right. Next are the rubber standoffs or the vibration dampeners. So they're in this little bag with screws and we're basically just going to take all of them out and start fitting them into the drone body. So we're going to take this guy, which is extremely light, by the way, crazy how much heavier this is than this. But I mean, if you think about it, it does make sense. Use some tiny pliers and just shove them into those holes. Boom. All right. That's one in. Four more to go. Boom. All right. So we got all of our rubber standoffs in and now we are going to put this guy together. So how do we do this? I think first we're going to remove this cable because the one from the drone is going to go into it instead to remove this without pulling at the wires itself. I'm going to use my little pliers. There we go. And now we'll take this guy and he's going to go right here with the butt facing the battery area. We're going to take the super long self-tapping screws that come with the kit. I'm going to use my zero zero bit. I'm going to start screwing it down. This does concern me that this is kind of down here because I don't want it to get caught in the motors. So let's push it up. Okay. I still don't like how it's mounted. We're just going to go like this. Ah, there we go. That's better. And then use these self-tapping screws to go through the bottom. Let's mount the Pico. All right. Making sure it passes the squish test. Totally does. All right, so now we'll just plug in the VTX wire, the video transmission, I think it's called wire. Get in there. All right, it's totally in. Not coming out. Boom. Awesome, we have our little guy. This is pretty cool. Here we go. That's so sick. It's so small. It's literally 4K in the size of my palm. Boom. It's gonna fly this thing. I've been flying this little guy and I have been completely obsessed with him for like like the past week and man it is tough i will tell you that it is tough it's fun to fly it is versatile it is it is everything i love it so much if you don't know how to go through the binding process and you want some more information check out the longer form video i have in the description below the like button this video was kind of like the first part of that video so you can skip ahead towards the middle and the end this is better than the dji avada better than the dji fpv if you're a beginner because it's small it is tough and compared to the avada this actually flies is good.